Hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about Sorry, just a minute. Accidentally, I open a different slide. Okay, sorry for that. Okay, how to use Jetto Analytics to review and monitor protection and how to perform the Jetto failover test. Okay, and here is the agenda. So before we understand the Jerto analytics and failover test, we quickly review our Jerto solution architecture. And as we are aware, Jerto is a Havilet Packet Enterprise company. So Jerto solution architecture. So in our previous sessions, we talk about the three key points. First one is how to install Zeto virtual manager on windows server that is our first installation procedure and the second one we talk about virtual replication appliance how to install on single year success host level or how to install on a cluster level all year success host that is our second portion and the third session what we talk about is how to create a virtual protection group vpg on our production site and this production virtual protection group we i we verified how we can replicate it to the disaster recovery site so now we'll talk about how once the replication is progressing from production to disaster recovery site we need to verify the analytics also how we can monitor and review see within the solution architecture the key concept is analytics in general jerto analytics give us an overview of all our protection data and application even across multi-site multi-cloud environment and across mixed deployments of virtual machines and containers when using zeto for kubernetes okay and while our new vpg virtual protection group is syncing let's check out zeto analytics and get a preview how it brought and deep views and reports help us access and make decision about our Zeto sites. So sites means our production site as well as disaster recovery site. It's not only limited to two, even if you have multiple sites also, the concept is same. And this will only be preview. And since it is shared across labs with a time delay, Zeto Analytics will look more accurate when set up our own environments because I'm showing in a Zeto hands-on labs. So you may find some, there is a slight time delay, but in the production environment, it will show you high performance, will have a accurate information we can find. Okay, and another key point is Zeto architecture failover test. So failover testing ensures that if recovery is needed, the failover will perform as expected. Okay, and we can test a single VPG or multiple virtual protection groups simultaneously. We can even test a subnet subset of VMs or single VM from within a multi VM port group. Any method we can perform. Okay, so now quickly log into our lab. So let me select the full screen. So when we log into our Jetto graphical user interface, we have the first tab is showing as dashboard. See within our dashboard, our VPG virtual protection group health status is showing as healthy state. Okay. And even meeting our SLA is green color. VPG status is completely healthy state. And under the same home tab, you can look for a tab called analytics tab. This is the point I'm going to talk now. See open Zeto analytics. It clearly says that Zeto analytics is an online application. So pressing OK will open Zeto analytics in a new browser tab. Logging to the Zeto analytics requires my Zeto credentials. So just click on OK. It will open Open a separate tab. So within this analytics Zeto tab, 
it will log in. So if you want to assign the password, uh, it's a lab system, so it's already logged in with your Zeto Lab user account. Here we can see average RPO information for our VPG group. VPG means virtual protection group, health status is healthy, and already average RPO is showing as good condition. Okay, and our disaster recovery, the mainly available sites are two sites, production site and disaster recovery site. Okay, and the VPG group also we can verify. So there are some other VPG groups also available and VMs also available. Our main VMs are CRM VM, CRM1, CRM2 and CRM3. Okay, and storage information also we can verify how what is the storage status and the monitoring. And during the analytics state, we can also verify the monitoring also from here. Okay, and there is a tab for a reporting tab. This reporting tab also will provide us the, all the status. We see one minute, one second of RPO, six seconds average, and maximum is 10 seconds. Okay, if you want to export this report, we have an option to export the report and you can change the time period and you can apply and download the report also. That facility also available and report types not only for RPO, it will be available for our journal and network. Okay, and Windows file server local, the multiple VPG groups, we can export it here. Okay, and long term retention. This that long term retention is available. Generally, we can configure long term retention for weekly, monthly, yearly, and annually or half yearly, like that. Also, we can configure the retentions and the planning tab. Even if you want to start any Jetto planner and all, we can start from the planning tab. Okay, this is about the analytics tab. And coming to the failover test, again, go back to the our main Zeto user, a graphical user interface console. And here, if you want to do a failover, same within the main menu, if you see in the below, there is a session called failover. If you select here, there is an option for failover test. But if you want to start the failover test, the first option is go to the VPGs, that means virtual protection groups tab, here we need to enable the uh, we have to add the checkpoint before start the failover test so click on add checkpoint so when you add the checkpoint we need to choose which uh, checkpoint we are planning to do and checkpoint name let's say for example i'm choosing a pre-test that is nothing but a failover test i'm choosing the name as pre-test so select our crm group okay so crm vms are selected that means crm group virtual protection group selected click on save so once it is saved then you can start doing the failover test so when you select the failover there is a live option as well as test option so here we are going to observe failover test so when you plan to select failover test whatever the option you saved that failover group virtual protection group is re replicating here so select the crm see three vms are selected and now click on next it is currently protection status is meeting sla state and even the execute parameters are already selected checkpoint is for today's date okay 13th august now click on next and see it is going to failover test ready to failover test from production side to dr site this is the actual wizard now so you are about to test failing over vpgs number of vpgs to test one out of one only one group only we are testing so click on start failover test when you click on start failover test the production even if you see in the above tab running to failover test status is in progress okay See so currently in the 16%, even if you see in the main protection VPG group tab, you can see operation status testing failover is 16%. It may take a while to do the failover test, currently 81%. Okay, see testing failover is completed. So this is how we can do the failover testing and even the current status is currently failover test is available. Even if you want to extract the report, we can see the extract report also we can extract and again go back to the VPG tab, virtual protection group tab. If you want to stop the failover test, just click here. You can see stop test wizard, but our previous result status is success. OK, so if you want to stop the test, just click on stop and the test will be stopped failover test. We already tested the failover test status is success. 
okay so testing failover 60 even if you want to validate whether the failover is successful or not just go to the another drv center we can see our failover vms are replicated successfully in our disaster recovery site or not currently i already clicked the stopped so there is no crm vms uh, for our easy understanding to monitor from vcenter server let me enable the failover test one more time again go back to the our HPE production site, go to the failover and select the failover test. And before enabling the failover test, remember that within our uh, actions tab, we need to add it to the checkpoint. So choose the failover test, name is pretest, and enable the CRM, click on save. This saving is the first option. We are adding this one to the checkpoint, and now we'll start the failover test. When you start the failover test, enable the CRM now click on next direct straight away options so going to replicate from production to dr even if you just comparing purpose if you see now dr drv center there is no crm vms after replication we'll see this three crm vms are replicated here or not okay so now click on start failover test see running status is in progress 16 percent So once it reached the 100%, the VMs are started replicating in our DRV center. Even DRV center, let me refresh the screen. Once we refresh, we can see CRM 01 testing recovery, CRM 02 testing recovery, CRM 03 testing recovery. These three VMs are already replicated here. Okay, and go back to our production site. See the testing failover is completed. If you click on this wizard, you can see the current status is success. Result is success state. And even our DRV center, our three CRM VMs are replicated successfully. Okay, that is the lab. So now if you want to pause the, this uh, testing, just click on stop and it will pause the testing status. Once you pass the testing and stop the testing, this VMs failover test VMs also, so soon it may be power off and remove. See CRM 1, 2, 3, if you see in the recent task, it's already power off, it is going to remove the three VMs. See, three VMs are removed, okay? So this is how we can do the live failover test, okay? Now, let's back to the our slide. So these two points are covered, failover test. And even we verified how to use Jetto Analytics to review and monitor the production. For the analytics, we need to, it will open a separate wizard and we have to use a lab user credentials and to review and monitor the production status. And we can also export the report for a Jetto Analytics. And we also verified how to perform the Jetto failover test. And we verified whether the CRM VMs replicated successfully to the disaster recovery v center now in our previous tab if you see the our diagram i shown you as a production site we have vms and dr site there is no vms but after we enable a failover test what should happen is this is the high level diagram see in our production site that means protected site we have a protection group and the recovery site is nothing but a disaster recovery site here also whatever the vms we have in a source production site all the vms will start replicating to the disaster recovery site but to re re uh, what are all the vms you want to uh, do the replication to dr site is subjected to be customer's decision suppose here what it is showing in our recovery site is resources ready for the failover Whatever is a failover, these are ready for failover. In case of any disaster happen our production site, it's ready for a failover, okay? And here LTR means it's a long-term retention services are available. These services you can configure weekly, monthly, half-yearly, and yearly basis, okay? So this is the takeaway now. That's it for today. Please do view, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, if you are already subscribed, thanks for your support and engagement. Bye for now.